Sure, this is Georgia Hall, and um, I am the player agent and the equipment manager for Hopkins and Little League, and I've been involved with the board for about four or five years right now, um, and have um, also been coaching over um, the last few years, also both softball and baseball. Okay, thank you. Claire? I'm the secretary of Hopkinton Little League. I've been on the board for about um, three years now and just recently took over the reins of secretary. And um, I'm a longtime parent. I've had three boys play in the league and um, um, have uh, enjoyed it from a parent volunteer standpoint for many years and decided that it was time to to help out on a higher level. So um, thank you so much for having us. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks. And uh, Jeffrey, hi. Hi, uh, Jeff Streak here. I'm the president for Hopkinson Little League. Um, I've been a volunteer for, gosh, I guess about six years now, um, both as a coach and then just prior uh, board uh, roles. Uh, we're uh, strictly uh, volunteer-driven, um, nonprofit organization. Uh, we're affiliated with uh, Little League International. Uh, we offer both uh, baseball softball and then a new program we're launching this year called challenger um we have approximately uh, 30 uh board members that occupy different roles um within the organization and in terms of volunteers uh we average uh around 130 uh to 200 depending on the type of season we have so jeff a hundred and thirty volunteers. That is a lot of volunteers. Does that include the players? Does not include the players. Um, from a player point of view, uh, in the in what I'll call our, our you know typical best season, which is you know not last year, not this year. Uh, so pre-COVID, we we would have a little over six hundred uh, players uh, involved in the program. Um. And we are in, Little League is comprised of districts. Uh, we're in what they call District 11. And we're, we're the largest program within that district. Um, and it includes some, some large towns, uh, Canton, Norwood. Um, so we, we actually do a, a pretty comprehensive program across the board. Um, is that 600 Hopkinton kids? It is. Um, uh, the majority are Hopkinton uh, with the new program uh, that we're launching um, this year officially, uh, the Challenger program. We're actually opening that up to uh, any town with, with uh, you know, that wants to, to join us. Um, so, you know, Southboro, Northboro, Holliston, whatever, um, you know, we're okay. open to, to those players. Hopkinton Little League this year will be introducing the Challenger program. So... Uh, the Challenger program was created by Little League International for uh, special needs kids uh, to give them an opportunity to participate um, in game uh, like activities, learn about the game, and, and just overall have fun. Um, there's similar programs in, in other sports, uh, basketball, soccer uh, within town, and uh, those programs are also open up to you know surrounding communities to, to participate. And uh, we you know, with our starting challenger, um, we're kind of uniquely, you know, positioned, if you want to call it that, to uh, kind of cater to Metro West. Um, there's, I don't know of another program that's kind of around us that that's um, offering baseball at the moment. And we saw it as a great opportunity uh, to offer something to those players um, and their families um, that want to play. Uh, it's fully sponsored, uh, which means that uh, similar to basketball and uh, some of the other programs uh, for those players, uh, it's free uh, for them to play. And it's a really cool program. I'm really excited to launch it um, this season. Uh, it also provides abilities for uh, our 12-year-old players or alumni players or anyone who wants to volunteer, say, at, from the middle school or high school level, to be buddies um, of those players. There's a what they term a buddy program and uh, volunteers are paired up with uh, challenger players. They are with them from the moment they step on the field to the moment they step off. Um, and it's just, it's a great kind of opportunity for families to watch their players play. 
um, mm. and, and participate if they want or just sit back and, and watch and enjoy.